obviously started your career as an actor, um, and then you've produced this really, really intense film where you've had to get 110% out of the other actors. Did it help having that experience before? Absolutely. I think a lot of times directors who have not been actors or performers, it's, it's, it's such an intimate process, the collaboration, and I think when you don't know what they're going through, you don't know how to to just say, what can I do? And then when a performer is acting, I often feel myself in their shoes, knowing exactly what they're experiencing. So when I yell cut, I know how to go over and have a conversation about it. Megan is a wrecking ball. She scared me, she terrified me. I, I went to work every day with such extreme anticipation and there's something um, about playing a character like this. You don't, like, I wanted to make sure that everybody on set knew that like, oh, well, I'm not, I'm nothing like this character. Like, you're terrified of being judged. And so now with so many people and so many fans of, of, of the book and, and people will be seeing it, it's, it's still, it's, the, the fear has not really gone away, but um, but I think it's an important film, and I'm excited for the fans. I hope that they're happy with what we've done. Well, I'd never played somebody who is that self-destructive and, and caught in the grips of an infatuation with alcohol and with other people. Um, and I think that she had tendencies that I never really explored before as an actor and so it was really exciting. Emily, you've got a really intense role in this yeah. but then you're going on to play Mary Poppins. Yeah. How is that uh, as a transition for you as an actress? Well, I need to go towards the light at some point, you know. I've got uh, Sicario and then this one and so I think I'm ready for some joy. Well, Julie Andrews said she's looking forward to seeing you play the role. You know, that is lovely, so... Lovely. Huge stamp of approval for me, so that means a lot. Well, he is the uh, one half of the perfect couple that the girl on the train sees every day on her way home or on the way to work, or we think she's going to work. And um, yeah, uh, they, they look like the most perfect couple, but actually they don't have the most perfect life or relationship. There's a lot of shadows and dark and dark demons in their, you know, in their lives. Um, and he loses his wife one day. She goes missing, and um, what unfurls is a... A, quite a dark, twisted uh, murder, murder thriller, and um, my character basically spends most of his time trying to s find answers. And he's misled, he's betrayed. He discovers the worst, worst things he could find out as a husband. Haley, you talked about um, not wanting people to know about, like you know, people to know you're a nice person, basically. So, what's your views of method acting and how some? Some other actors are pretty much truly embracing their characters on and off set. I, I don't think I've worked with a whole lot of method actors. Um, and this film in particular was, as intense as the film is, it was a very, very light mood on set. And I think that that is a testament to Tate Taylor. He, he's an actor himself and I think that it's important to be able to shed that heaviness at the end of the day. Your character is uh, a renowned people watcher. Are you a people watcher? Do you do it often? I sponge you all up. You'll all be in a movie one day. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do, I do, I do have an interest in people's idiosyncrasies and what makes them tick, always. Mm -hmm.